In this video, I'm going to share a process for embedding a Tableau dashboard into your web page. I initially found this quite challenging, particularly around ensuring that the dashboard was responsive to the multiple devices that are available and the screen sizes that they come with. My first solution was to create a fixed size dashboard for the three main types of device, that being the desktop, tablet and mobile. However, even then, you can't cater for the diverse range and variations of screen sizes that exist on those devices. So here's a quick guide for how to go about it. So firstly, first out of four steps, you must put into play Tableau's relatively new capabilities around device layouts. That is, within Tableau, you can create a layout to suit the three main types of devices. So let's take a look at that in action. Here's a dashboard that I've quickly put together with a map of Australia showing some um, just a heat map on different areas, and it's not important what the underlying data is. But what is important is over on the left-hand side, notice here we have the dashboard tab open. Um, we have a default layout, and we also have a phone layout created for us. Underneath that is the device preview button. By clicking on that one, what happens is it opens up your device preview screen and you can preview what your dashboard will look like on various types of devices. Notice it comes up originally with desktop and you can here you can choose the different types of desktop models. But most importantly, out on the right hand side here, you can actually add a desktop layout. And what that's going to do is it's going to create a specialized layout for how you want your dashboard to appear when it's displayed on a desktop. When I click on that button, what happens is it adds a desktop layout over here on the left hand side. If we then change this to tablet, we can do the same for tablet. So over on the right hand side, we can add a desktop layout. So now we have different layouts for our three different types of devices. Now what I'm going to do is swap to a dashboard where I've already created these layouts or, or organize my content to how I want them to display for these different types of device layouts. So let's switch screen now to this dashboard here. There's my default layout. I go to the desktop and I've laid it out here for a desktop. And you'll notice what I've done is I've, I've picked fit width. So I want to I want my uh, visualization to, to cater for the various desktop widths that, that exist, but also allow it to scroll down for height so I can fit all my content in. I'd rather the user be able to scroll down to view the content rather than ending up with scroll bars going across my screen. So my width is most important. Tablet, a tablet layout's not too dissimilar to my desktop layout, so I've selected that there. What is different is my phone layout. And Tableau does a good uh, job by default of laying out your mobile, um, your contents so that they're viewable easily on a mobile. But what you can also do is you can come down here and customize those so that you can add bits and pieces in as you need to be. One of the tricks here is if you have some content that doesn't look very good on the mobile, you need to create a different worksheet for that content. Uh, for example, I have a different map for my mobile layout as to what I do for my desktop layout. When this is the case, what you need to do is firstly add that extra mobile layout to your default device layout here up the top here. If you don't, then it won't be available for you to choose for the mobile layout down the bottom here. Okay, so that's our first and probably our major step is to, in, in order to publish on our website and have this responsive feel, um, is to create these device layouts. So our second step is then to publish to Tableau Public. Now you may already be familiar with this. Um, I'm going to assume you're already familiar with Tableau Public and its features and you're going to need a free account if you haven't in order to publish. And you'll need to ensure you're not publishing any confidential information on Tableau Public. It's not the best spot for your sales strategy dashboard. Um, and after all, it is called public for a reason. So on my dashboard to publish, I would go up to server and I would go to Tableau Public and I would then save that to Tableau Public. Now, if you haven't already logged into Tableau Public, it will prompt you for those. Okay, up to step number three. We now need to create the embed code from the original view of our dashboard on Tableau Public. So switching to Tableau Public, here's the electricity generation dashboard in Tableau Public. Now, if I scroll down to the bottom, I can see the share icon down here. Clicking on that, brings up a dialog box and I need to choose original view 
And then I have this embed code here, some HTML code that I can plug into my website. So I now need to copy that to the clipboard. So I'll press Control C and copy that. Final step is we need to paste that embed code into your site. Now I'm sure this was going to differ greatly for the multitude of different web pages that exist and different CMSs and even the different themes that exist within these. Um, I've used, I've been able to use this successfully within my WordPress site and its posts, uh, but obviously I can't guarantee that it's going to work for everybody. But let's, let me show you exactly how I would go about it. So I now need to navigate to a new post here. So I'm going to my website here with a new post and in WordPress, I'm going to add a block and I am going to add a custom HTML block there. Click on that and I need to paste uh, my embed code in. And then what I can do is go up and preview that and see how that displays. Now, because I'm viewing it currently on desktop, I'm hoping that the preview that it produces is based on my desktop. It sizes adequately for my desktop viewing. Um, Obviously, you're also going to want to test this to make sure it does display correctly on your tablet or your mobile device. And we start to see the post and we can see now we've got a nice responsive layout of the dashboard uh, that we can now interact with.